Good afternoon. Brox and Max. All this junk, complete junk on this channel. I don't even know where I find it all. Got uh, a little bystander here. And we find this. This stuff just will not stop surfacing. Clearly, a lot was made back in the day for some of it to still survive today. These are both Brockways. The tag on this one says 160. I believe this one would be probably a 260. Let's see if there's a tag. Oh, there is a tag. Let's walk around the other side. We have saddle tanks. Cute little rear end, both are bud wheels. Ah, 162. So these are quite early, just judging by the size of them. It even has air brakes. That's kind of cool. A lot of good parts on these trucks, believe it or not. Well worth being saved. Got the old Snyder fuel cap on them, Buffalo, New York. What's this one have? Uh, this one's hydraulic brake. Been obviously sitting around a while. Frames are a little bit iffy. Make some good yard art or good parts. So this little roadway here, where does it lead to? Let's walk it and find out. I'm glad my young son brought his boots today. Walking around in the tall grass, or about to. Oh, he's wearing shorts. So. The end stops here for this child. <laughs> I will have to venture on to see what's out there. We have some pavers. We have some brick in there. But then we have, aha. We were able to fend through the thickery what is this thing? It is a Brockway 361. And it has been here a while. Don't step over here, there's some thorns. So how do we get around here? What's under the hood? Let's start there. Anybody have a guess what would be under this hood we have a square far box air cleaner on it we have one single dog so the chance of it being husky drive with a cummins in it is a giveaway that it wasn't either a 240 or 270. see the truck doesn't even want to tell me what it is Guess we gotta just take a little peek. Aha. A clitter clatter. Let's see if this side opens. I'll battle through. No. Here it is. I believe it's a 1674. Yep, it says it on the tag, so 
270 horse cat. But this has been here a long time. When I mean a long time, I mean we are the, the hubs are touching the ground. This isn't coming out today. That's for sure. I don't even know if I can get in the door. Just saw a mouse, and there it goes. <laughs> Actually, the interior isn't terrible. For it sitting there, who knows how long. Do you think the rear wheels, you think if we just put it in gear, it'll drive out? Got a load in it of some branches and debris. I can't describe to you the amount of thickery that's here. There's more of the hiking trail. We're not hiking, we're broccoli hunting. Oh, we found the broccoli, let's look some more. What's that say on the back other than J and R? That's about it. Why the other way? Because this way's easier. Follow my path so you don't get pricked with your shorts. J and R contracting. Don't know where they're from. But this is not far from Cortland, this truck. The truck is for sale, in case somebody was so interested in it. I believe it's been here a fair amount of time, let's say 15 years, just to have some round numbers. Probably drove in here. Would it drive out? I don't know. Five and a four, air shift. Cosmetically, it's not terrible. The box isn't terrible. It's got fiberglass fenders on it. Anybody that's a cat fan and a Brockway fan, this would probably be the right venture. It just needs some work and some love. Hey Dad, I like cats and Brockways. Can we take it home? No, not this one. We have enough stuff. This belongs to somebody that has the foresight, somebody that's mechanically friendly, because there's a lot of stuff that needs to happen just to get this thing out of here, never mind get it running, and all that. But it's here, Mother Nature, again, trying to take over. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. On to the next one.